Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing amazing. Welcome back to Thrive with Liv P. I hope you guys are really doing well. Oh my goodness. So guys, we did get some news today about uh, the royal family and their spending habits. Um, so it's cray cray guys. Listen guys, apparently Willie gets paid 127,000 pounds per hour for walking around and putting his hands around um, homeless people. Homeless people who have been homeless for like three years. That's why I told you about that guy that um, I can't remember. I don't know the guy's name, but he has been posing with this guy for like three years. And the guy has been homeless for three years. Willie has done nothing to help the guy. Willie, you know what, Willie? Why don't you just pay to the guy that you have been putting your hands around talking about oh um um you're you're his friend and all this crap why don't you pay that guy the 127,000 pounds just give him one one pay, one of your paychecks one of your paychecks for the 127,000 pounds that you make per hour why don't you do that maybe the guy can then maybe get a place to live how about that <laughs> <sighs> guys, and apparently that man, Willie, only carries out, carried out 172 engagements for the whole year. It actually, and, and some of these engagements, guys, you know, I mean, if they're an hour, that's long. Let's put it that way. That's long. And, and most of these engagements are cutting ribbons and holding people's hands and, uh, you know, shaking hands and standing next to black people you know they've been doing that a whole lot i guess that's called an engagement and they get paid 172 uh, sorry 127,000 pounds i mean well at least Lily does i don't know about i don't know how much kate gets paid kate has done also 122 um um hours of engagements i guess that's what they call engagements 123 engagements for the whole year it adds up to less than less than like a month for, uh, for the whole year. They spread it out. They spread it out to make it look like after working. Guys, these people are horrendous. Charles from the Duchy of Lancaster has earned 52,000 pounds an hour. And, um, and basically, guys, all of the royal family, when you add up all their hours and stuff, they, they're only working like six months out of the year six months of work for all of them that's how much of work the royal family are doing the people who are walking around um, pompously pretending like if they're working and and that um you know that and the Anne, Anne is the hardest working person in that family apparently supposedly and she has only worked for two pretty much two months of the whole year but pretty much and they call her hard working and she's the one who walks around and cuts ribbons basically so she's the hardest working hardest working royal <laughs> guys and do you see how crazy this is guys you see how nuts this is and they're gonna look and you know a lot of those uh, reporters and the royal reporters and the royal rotas and all that they're always talking, they're always calling Harry and Meghan grifters and names. They call them Harry and Meghan names. They call them grifters and this and that. And Harry and Meghan are pretty much the only two people in that family who actually work. And the only two people who actually earn their own money because the royal family are pretty much uh, extorting, in my opinion. They're just extorting money from the general public in that country. I think it's ridiculous <laughs> but yeah so that's happening um the royal family they're costing you know the taxpayers uh millions of dollars every year and you know and anybody to be honest anybody in that country who is paying uh, for that royal family and and they think that that's a great thing <sighs> i don't know i'm sorry i'm sorry about that i'm sorry for you if you think that they're having them is something great I'm sorry for you. That's all I can say about it. I would not want to live there at all. <laughs> I already am pissed off because I live in I live in Canada. I love Canada. Sure, I do. Uh, but the fact that, you know, Canada is still considered a part of the, the whole monarchy thing. I, I, it's annoying. 
it really is but you know that's a different conversation for a different day um so i just wish that um they would yeah i really do wish that um that would change because my daughter she's in the ear cadets she just joined them a couple months back and she had to swear allegiance to that man that y'all call the king and his descendants <laughs> <laughs> Which is so, it's crazy. But anyways, that happened. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that. Um, but anyways, moving on. Um, we have some news here. Um, it says here Prince Harry has been ma- has um, been ordered to pay 50000 to the mail on Sunday after losing the first battle in libel case. Um, it says the Duke is suing the newspaper's publisher over his story about his legal battle with the Home Office. Um, and uh, let's see. All right, so, th- so that was the first part of it. And, uh, of course, we know. Um, okay, so his case to have part. Okay, so the- it's still going on. His case to have part of e defense removed was heard in March. Um, so it says here last week, High Court Judge um, Mr. Justice Nicklin ruled that e can proceed with the honest opinion defense in the libel case with harry suing the news group over a february 2022 article about the government's decision to strip him off um taxpayer funded security after relocating to the u.s um mr justice nicklin argued that enl had a real prospect of arguing its position and that the case should go to trial and harry will pay the newspaper by 29th of december the judge has said okay so um, i don't know what none of that means um all i know is that um harry has been has been made to pay um the fifty thousand, and it will be and it's still going forward in the um court system so um you know what hey you win some you lose some that's nothing that's uh in the grand scheme of things that's really not a big huge issue um the only people who make it an issue is the people who hate harry and megan and love to uh try to rub it in your face every time that something happens that it's normal it's like it is what it is whatever <laughs> i really could care less about you know people um <laughs> actually you know it's so funny even people who even th- things that are not connected to harry and megan um people try to like lump harry and megan into it like for instance i saw um i was watching something on uh, one of the canadian um news sites about um they were talking about the royal family and i wanted to see what they were gonna say um so yeah they they kind of um they talk to you know they're talking about kate and all that and blah 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 and of course they're all always glowing and, and you know, Kate could never do anything wrong, according to these people, and she's perfect. Uh, and of course, anytime that they have to mention anything about Meghan and Harry, it's always from a negative lens. Even here in Canada, I told you guys about this before. Um, so, and then for some reason, they, they were talking about Omid Scooby, and apparently, um, they were talking about his book Endgame. And I don't know how much Endgame has sold. I have to take a look at it again. Um, but seems like if they're kind of saying, oh, but, the, you know, the book only sold 9,000 copies in, in, in this and that. But they were talking about how many sales um, the book had. I don't know how many. I have to check again. But it seems like if um, they're kind of putting Harry and Meghan into, in, like, they're, they're kind of involved in Harry and Meghan in the fact that Omid Scooby's book didn't sell much. And, and, and you know what? Omid Scooby is his own entity. That's he, He's his own person. He doesn't have anything to do with Harry and Meghan. <laughs> and it seems like if they were kind of lumping him um, see, and Harry and Meghan, in, in the, like, they were trying to more or less say, um, you know, put him on the side of Harry and Meghan and trying to say, well, that, they lost something, you know? It's like, I'm like, no, he is his own person. Um, he, you know, and, and this is not the be all, be all and end all about the book. If the book didn't sell the, the most in the first week or the first week or two weeks or whatever, maybe there's a, there's reasons why, um, you know, whatever. There's a reason why people didn't, didn't get it. And if people did get it, there's, you know, that's good because honestly, to be, to be honest, I kind of hope, you know, that people will get it now that they know what it's about you know that it's about telling the royal family's story and all the things that they don't want people to know <laughs> that's the long and short of the story in my opinion uh, that's what i think it's about the, you know they're trying to 
tell he's telling the story of the royal family because none of the other royal books ever do and it's actually you know as far as we know a lot of the books that Angela Levatton wrote for instance didn't even sell 3,000 copies they don't talk about those books but they're talking about they're trying to this um you know Elmwood Scobie's book <laughs> I find that interesting but anyways let's move on to something a little more uh nice okay so the Archwell Archwell has um they have put out some information about the foundation for the year it says here at, at the Archwell Foundation our core purpose is just simply to do good. We meet the moment by showing up, taking action, and using our unparalleled spotlight to uplift and unite communities, both local and global and online and offline. And they believe that philanthropic work is more than a handout, it's a handheld. And okay, so and it and it, and it gives you all the information here. It says to view our 2022 to 2023 impact report. You can click and see all the things that they have been doing. Um, and you know what? I think I'm going to click to see. Let's see. Let's see what Archwell has been doing. Let's see. They have been doing amazing things. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so it's loading here. It's loading, 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 loading. Um, let me see here. There is also more information here um, and you know <laughs> anytime you see the Daily Feel has a headline about her and Megan RGB news guys you, <laughs> you know it's like, they're they're always at the bottom of the barrel trying to like scrape the bottom of the barrel <laughs> G D Daily Phil has a headline here. It says, Harry and Meghan's Archwell Foundation suffers 8.7 million drop. <laughs> right? And then, um, let's see here. Uh, GB News says, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry be beginning to unwind as couple face, face something. I don't even know what they're facing, but there you go. <laughs> I'm not even reading the rest of it. But I think it's just funny the way how they, they love to uh, celebrate when um harry when they perceive harry and megan have um lost something it's like it's so, it's so funny it's like it's so obvious and so silly it's like oh come on please but let's uh see here okay so it's here prince harry and megan's charity makes 1.2 million in donations um prince harry and megan markle's organization donated grants of one to two million to charities this year is annual report reveals under the banner show up show up do good the foundation backed projects ranging from helping afghan women in the u.s to tackling misinformation there was also support for a mine charity made famous by princess diana u.s tax filings show donations at the same level as last year with archwell now holding funds of more than 11 million while much has been written about their high profile oh, about the high profile couple the archwell foundation's report for 2022 and tax information for 2022 cast a clear financial light on prince harry and Meghan's working lives in the united states archwell founded when prince harry and Meghan uh, moved to the u.s and stepped down from official royal duties is now in its third full year of operations with the charitable foundation working alongside it, alongside its production arms tax balance for 2022 published this year show donations of 1.2 million from the foundation including 100,000 for the halo trust a mine clearing charity once supported by princess diana prince harry's mother had brought attention to the charity when she visited in minefield in 1987 um let's see anything else here that's interesting here other funded projects included 200,000 for a gender justice justice um project in washington 125,000 for a civil rights charity and 100,000 for a project promoting the responsible responsible use of technology 
Archwell was launched with an initial startup revenue of 13 million in 2021, with a 32 million raise in 2021, and then 5 million in 2022, making grants of 5.4 million across those years. Tax returns show that the foundation spent more than it received in 2022, with a gap of 674,000 was less than 8.5 million in remaining funding which has since risen to 11.2 million. So they are improving, um, things go up, things go down, but overall they are, they have, um, you know, they're doing well. Prince Harry and Meghan are seen in a promotional video with some of the causes and campaigns did back in 2023 with a similar amount, 1.2 being donated in figures yet to be audited for this year's tax returns. So basically guys, uh, our faves are, they gave away 1.2 million guys how much did the royal family give away the billion dollar royal family i want to know um apart from taking a hundred and something oh my god like so much money hundred and something million from the taxpayers what did the royal family do ex exactly and they and people in that country well not people the the press in that country want to make us think that harry and megan are grifters you know, you know who the real grifters are? It's y'all's royal family. That's who the real grifters are. It's as simple as that. And no matter how much you shout from the mountaintops of Harry, Harry and Meghan being grifters, the truth is there and in the pudding. And the proof is in the pudding. There you go. That's all I got to say about it, guys. Anyways, <laughs> please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And guys, please um, do, um, if you want to buy me a coffee, please do. If you want to a super chat super sticker thank you so much i appreciate it so much guys um i appreciate it. if you want to also join my channel um you can do so on patreon or on buy me a coffee or you can send a super chat or super stickers a super sticker thank you so much guys for um coming through and i will talk to you guys in the next one have a great one guys bye